Hello everybody. So this is how I got around having one webcam in two different scenes and having it stay active between the two scenes, you know, not, uh, cause previously, if you try to do it, like, um, we used to do in uh, OBS classic one, uh, scenes webcam would work and the other scenes wouldn't. So what I did was I created this scene here, which you can see, which is the, this is my lobby screen. Now this overlay is specifically to Heroes of the Storm, but I'll discuss how you would do it with uh, all the other games. I'm gonna pull this open. So I got my, you know, my lobby here. Uh, and then I also have my, we just need to uh, rename this one. We'll name, name it game. Okay, well, let's never remove this one. I had to do this video a couple of times already. Okay. So we got the lobby. Lobby scene. Put all your sources in the scene that you want. Make sure now if you have it like like me, this this scene just works for Heroes of the Storm. Now if you just have a generic overlay that you use between all your games, you're gonna want to add all those games game captures in here and adjust them to fit your if you have a lobby and like or you have an alternate scene. Then right click, choose duplicate, name it whatever you want. So I'm going to shrink this back. Well, uh. so looking at this again, what you want to do now is you want to remove all of these source elements that you don't want in your new scene. So we're going to remove the lobby, chat window, and the lobby background image. So you want to leave your video capture, let's say I would name mine webcam, and you want to leave in all your game captures. And this is important because if you remove the game capture and then re-add them, when you sit, switch scenes, they'll disappear, you know, go to black, and then there'll be a, you know, well, one second or so delay, and then they'll come back. If you leave them in, there, it'll be a seamless uh, transition. Now we're going to move this back. So now, the web, the sources are global. So whatever, you, if you change the properties, whatever you change in here, in one scene, is going to change the source for the other scene. So if I change my webcam properties here, they will be different here. And then, but you can resize them without having any problems. So to make this, like I was going to make my actual game pet play screen, you know, you can just move it up. Oop. Then we'll just look between here. But, you know, a lot of people will do like, you know, have their webcam up here or put it in the corner or wherever. They don't have a specific spot for it in their overlay. And so if you leave it on your game, so if you have just like a generic, you know, border or something, and so just leave it on your game captures and you'll, you'll have this, well, this out of the way. So you'll have this seamless transition. Which is pretty nice. Or if you want like this. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment. I'll do my best to try to answer them. I'm not a real big pro with OBS Studio. But since I couldn't find out how to do this on the web, I decided to make this tutorial video. If you have any better fixes, please make sure to let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.